Hello everyone. Welcome to my second upload on my YouTube uh, channel. I had promised that I was going to educate you more about nutrition, maternal nutrition and child nutrition. And uh, based on the demand for child nutrition and specifically about breastfeeding and how to manage breastfeeding, today I want to talk about how to maintain breastfeeding. Now, uh, most of the young ladies I've come across, either it's their first time to have babies, or their mothers who are not first-time mothers, but they have to go back to work. So they are wondering, we have been talking about exclusive breastfeeding for six months. How is that possible? Because most people are given off, like um, others say they're given 60 working days. Others say they're given 30 working days. Others are given 90 working days, whichever way it is. When you're going back to work and we are emphasizing on exclusive breastfeeding, you can express the breast milk and keep it for the baby to use during the day until the time you come back. So... This is not the only time that you may need to express milk. Which are the other times that you may need to express breast milk? The baby may sleep for too long, and especially for the newborns. They sleep for hours and hours. And once you start thinking about the baby, the milk just starts flowing. So you find that your breasts are full of milk, and the baby is still asleep. Yes, you can wake them up, and they feed on the breast, but still you'll find that the milk is too much for them. Now, if this milk is not emptied, it may cause breast engorgement, breast fullness, and that can be very, very painful. It can even lead to a full breast uh, whereby the nipples are stretched and the baby cannot attach well to the nipple, I mean to the breast. So in this instance, you have to express the milk to empty the breast and then that milk, you can give it to the baby later. So I'm going to demonstrate how to express milk. And the first step in expressing milk is to ensure you have a clean container. And that container, you wash it in advance so that it's dry. We don't want you expressing milk in a container that is wet. Then you wash your hands with clean water and soap. After that, you can either use a warm towel, a warm flannel to massage your breast. So when you have a warm towel, you are going to, to use it to massage your breast all round. If you don't have a towel, you can just use your hands. You just massage, you massage around the breast, you massage, you massage so that the milk can start flowing. So when you massage with a warm towel, it helps the milk ducts to expand and allow the milk to start flowing. So once you've massaged your breasts, you take your thumb, you place it just above the areola and not next to the nipple. You place it just behind the areola. Then the other two fingers they come below, just opposite the thumb. So the, the method that you use, most people make the mistake of squeezing, doing like this. When you do like this, it will be very painful and the milk will not come out. So once you've placed your, feet, your thumb and the four fingers like that, you push back, you squeeze, you release, you push back, you squeeze, you release, you push back, you squeeze, you release. So you'll do that until uh, very little milk is coming out, then you move to the other breast. You're going to do the same. You massage the breast, you massage all around, or you use a warm towel. Then you place again your thumb. Now I'm using my one hand because the other hand is 
it's bandaged i got a small accident so i'm just using this one but you can use the hand that you feel is comfortable for you so you express the milk you, remember you put your thumb just at the edge of the areola the other fingers you place them just opposite push towards your chest squeeze release push back squeeze release so once you've done that you've collected your milk in the cup how do you store this milk now this milk it can stay in at room temperature for up to eight hours you keep it in a cool place either on the floor away from uh, children or you can keep it in a cupboard and you lock the cupboard but you make sure the milk is covered and uh, for those who have a fridges you can keep your milk in the fridge okay uh, using a standard home where most people don't have fridges you'd place it at a place which is cool and like in our traditional homes we have uh, the water pots usually around the water pot it's quite cool so you can place the milk there in a container you cover it well and you make sure uh, the children are not able to reach the milk then when you want to give to the baby of course you'll have been told how much milk you can give to the baby whether it is 60 milliliters whether it is 50 milliliters so you'll measure you measure the amount that the baby is supposed to take then you place some water in a pan or a sufuria you place it on fire once it boils you take the milk that you've measured you place in a container then you place it in the hot water you give it a few minutes then you take that milk and drop a bit on the back of your you place a little of the milk on the back of your hand to test for the temperature now the back of the hand is the uh, one of the most sensitive parts of the body or you can do it under the wrist you can drop just a little milk if you feel it's burning you it will be too hot for the baby so you'd have to cool it a bit so that's how we warm the milk you don't put the milk in the pan direct and heat it you'll destroy most of the nutrients now once you've given the baby if the baby doesn't finish the milk you don't return the milk to the other remaining milk you throw it away why in the mouth we have enzymes salivary amylase which will destroy the milk the milk will curdle that's why we are saying you measure the amount that you feel the baby can finish you warm it and you give it to the baby if they don't finish you throw whatever remains next time the baby wants milk again you measure again the amount that the baby needs and you give by the time it reaches evening the mother will have come back to continue breastfeeding the baby now many mothers will say i'm unable to express so much milk the secret to expressing enough milk is starting at night at night we have the hormone that is called prolactin which helps to make to produce more milk at night it works better at night so we encourage mothers to start expressing milk in the evening uh, and also very early in the morning just before they go to work so that time you can be able to express enough milk for the baby to cater for your baby while you are away so basically today i just wanted to talk about expressing milk and how you can sustain lactation Again, expressing milk will help you to produce more milk because the moment you're expressing the milk, it uh, senses are sent, there are impulses that are sent to the brain to show that milk is required. So if you don't express the milk, the brain, uh, the hormones that are behind the brain will not instruct uh, the milk to, to start flowing. So it's important that we all know how to express milk. You may feel that you don't need to express the milk. But there are many reasons why you may have to express the milk. What about if the baby is sick and cannot breastfeed? What about if the baby has sores in the mouth and they cannot breastfeed? What will you do? You'll have to express the milk and give by cup. And you don't give by bottle. We don't encourage the use of uh, breast, uh, feeding bottles uh, because of hygiene issues and uh, dental malformations when a child gets used to sucking the the bottle once the teeth starts erupting 
they become uh, dislodged from where they're supposed to be coming out. So we don't encourage the use of bottles, but the first reason is because of hygiene issues. So uh, we are saying that uh, you may have to express milk because maybe the, ma the baby may be sick. The mother herself may be sick such that she cannot even hold the baby. She can be able to express the milk and give somebody to help her feed the baby. So I think that brings us to the end of today's session. Next, we are going to talk about a different topic. If you have any questions, please share with me your questions and I'll be able, be able to answer them. Just before I end, I'm requesting you to like, comment, and share on my YouTube channel. Thank you, and have a lovely evening. Thank you.